Welcome sports fans to the exterior of a generic professional football stadium. We're not going to tell you which one because we don't want to imply that any certain team is endorsing the jersey report. And why the fans have their faces blurred out is not because they're embarrassed to be wearing their favorite player's jersey. It's because we didn't have time to run around and get releases from everyone. There's only one star of this thing and it's me. It's just business. And business is good. Jerseys are flying out the door at Dick's and we've counted them up. We have the top 10 in sales. You can now determine if you want to be part of a national trend or wear one of those incredibly obscure jerseys. No one's going to judge you for it. Maybe your friends. Let's start with number 10. It's the jersey of that person who throws footballs for one of those teams from the northern part of the state of California. Now, before we get to number nine, let's hear from the friends of the person who wears number 12 for that professional team in the state of Wisconsin. He's not only not in the top 10, he's not even in the top 10 of his throwing position. This is ridiculous, and I'm outraged. What was he, everybody's first or second pick in their fantasy draft? I touch his jersey every day, it's lovely. It has a high thread count. Sadly, big guy, it's true. Your number 12 even got beat out by the guy who doesn't play, but wears number two in the state of Ohio. We've got your back, guy who wears number 12 for that team in Wisconsin. That is a very vague description of the guy who plays the throwing position for the team in Wisconsin. At number nine, this person who catches footballs in the city of Chicago. At number eight, this person who throws footballs near the city of Boston. And at number seven, one of two brothers who combined sell more jerseys than 30 other teams combined. Are you serious? Did Dix even count this up correctly? Yeah, it, it's true. We counted it up correctly. At number six is the jersey of a person who signed for a whole bunch of money. And he's selling a whole bunch of jerseys. At number five is the jersey of the man who throws footballs for the place that is the nation's capital, although he does so in a place nearby. The fourth best is this very handsome jersey. I wear this jersey for his personality. It's the only jersey of a defender in the top 10. Controversial. Number three is the jersey of the brother of the brother mentioned previously. He throws footballs rather accurately in the state of Denver, Colorado. Number two is the man who throws footballs in the place the man who now throws footballs in Denver used to throw footballs. And at number one, it's the guy those large men from the state of Wisconsin are upset about. He hasn't even played yet. You've got to be kidding me. This can't be real life. I'm going to have to agree with the large mammals from the state of Wisconsin. Number two is number one? What? Out. Looking forward to our next Jersey report. There are a lot of interesting matchups, but they're not so interesting that I'm going to talk about them right now. Instead, if you have an obscure Jersey or it's tattered or torn apart, go hashtag Jersey upgrade on any social media platform. You'll get a brand new Jersey, maybe.